I'm Nikki, and I wanted to talk about what our original plan for our group project was. So we wanted to work with the Drake House in um, some manner, and our original plan was to basically have um, two different kind of interactions with them. One would basically be hosting some sort of drive at Chattahoochee, where we would collect certain items for the Drake House um, and donate those. And then the other thing was to have some sort of in-person volunteering with the Drake House. Um, but what ended up happening was at our school, there were so many other clubs trying to host drives that we couldn't really get any, they didn't have enough space for us to also host a drive during right, the time frame that we kind of wanted to host. And for the in-person volunteering, we had a date kind of picked out with them, but um, the Drake House actually canceled on us right last minute. And so we were kind of, you know, in this very right, um, awkward kind of situation. And I think what we kind of took away from that, what we would do differently next time would be to have some sort of like backup plan, right? Right. So if, you know, the drives at our school weren't working out, maybe we could try to work with another school like Taylor Road, Finley Oaks, some sort of other school, maybe where we could actually have this, they have the space to host these kind of drives. And then we could also maybe contact other organizations to do that in-person volunteering. So just really have that backup, uh, backup plan would probably be our um, biggest takeaway. But I think what we did really well and what we would probably do the same in the future is really we had I think we had good communication as a group where we would keep each other updated on these certain developments and that would that allowed us to be on the same page and we all kind of decided to pivot to our our, our actual project with the Gaga Ball Pit fundraiser. Yeah. Hello my name is Cindy. Here is what each person in our group did. I communicated with Ms. Sanders for the group and communicated with Finley Oaks Elementary School about the Gaga Pit fundraiser. Binod contacted the Beta Club at our school to collaborate for the drive we were planning to do with Drake House. Nikki helped plan that drive and coordinate the group. He is also organizing a corporate donation match for the Gaga Pit fundraiser. Akshay and Faith communicated with Drake House. Akshay created the future plans for the Gaga Pit fundraiser and Faith created the flyers for that fundraiser. Claire and Bailey are running the Instagram for the fundraiser. Some of the leadership skills we learned through our project was perseverance. Since our communication with the Drake House was very difficult, we had to keep changing our original plan in order to get our project done. We used perseverance to keep trying through all the obstacles we faced. We also learned more about communication. Since we had to assign each member of our group a task, we had to communicate with each other with who was getting what done. We also had to communicate with Finley Oaks and the Drake House. Hey everyone, my name is Vinod, and uh, from my experience in participating in this project, I learned a lot about what it really takes to reach a complete and impactful group goal. I learned that people in the group have to take initiative in order to achieve short-term goals that would eventually lead up to this long-term goal. I also learned that in the beginning, we should thoroughly explore lots of avenues of executing the project to make it easy to change paths if any difficulties arise in this process. So what we've actually accomplished with our project is setting up the fundraiser for the Finley Oaks Gaga Pit. Um, currently, we've set up a social media page to help spread the word and have been handing out flyers in our school to help uh, make people aware of our cause. And um, through the span of a couple of weeks, we've raised over $300 and um, through various other fundraising methods, we hope to make that number $1,500 in, in the very near future. Hello, my name is Claire Morris. If we could do a project again, one thing we would do the same would be to stay flexible. When our original project idea of volunteering at the Drake House did not work out, we had to instead shift to organizing a fundraiser for a Gaga Ball Pit for Finley Oaks Elementary. Our ability to stay flexible allowed us to shift our plans and start the new project as soon as possible. One thing our group could have done differently would be to start our project earlier. We procrastinated in starting our project, which I think affected our success, and ultimately is the reason our original project idea did not work out. Despite the complications with our project, overall we had a fairly successful finished product. We definitely faced some highs and lows during the process, but in the end we came together as a group and found a way to make the best out of what we were working with. 